Jernigam here. I'm drinking a Munster Energy Drink coffee. Some people like this flavour. They've got two different types of flavours. You've got a red one and the blue one of these. I've only got the red one at the minute. I'm watching this thing on YouTube. It's about a migrants shooting dead by Greek police at Turkish border. So some of these, they call them migrants, but we're, we're, like I say, it probably gets annoying for some people why people call people that. We, they probably think we're all human beings at the end of the day, we whatever, what culture and what religion and what person we are. We're all human beings. It's like to say these things to people to get on their nerves and call them migrants, immigrants, just to annoy people because people don't seem to understand the way another brain of a person works. You know, uh, the human beings at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We all see the struggles and the war and we all see people struggling in the world. It's not nice and uh, we'd like to try and help as many people as we can, can help and can, but we can't help everybody. That's probably what annoys a lot of people in the world. They don't like to be singled out as people. They like to be treated as humans. You know what I mean? And I thought I'd share a video on YouTube, which is a, a bit painful and a bit hurtful for some people. Um, some people's moms in Turkey and Greece have probably lost their sons or daughters or husbands or wives or loved ones. But the thing is, there's a lot of war in this world and people don't like war and some people don't like talking about war. But it happens, some of it's for your history and some of it's just because it happens and uh, some people like to cause war and problems and destruction for people but some people don't like it. That's why um, the world is the way is like it is or the way it is or depends on what country you live in uh some countries are worse than others but uh i don't know what's going on in this crazy world guys you know people just wanted to get with their own lives and uh there's always somebody that makes it worse for somebody else not everybody's the same. I'm not saying that. There is nicer people in the world. There's lots of nice people, but they're hard to find. Anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you the video. That I'm be gonna be watching. I saw a thing flash on the phone, and I bet you guys just noticed that something flashed, I don't know what it was. Anyway, we're gonna play the video of Turkey and Greece. Hope you all enjoy it and uh yeah, okay, I'll see you in a minute. Let's put it on. The incident was filmed from several angles on different cameras by the migrants themselves. They're firing directly at us, the man says. The language is Farsi. He's Iranian. They shot him. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What you doing? The field is just on the Turkish side of the border with Greece. You can see the fence line and Greece beyond. This is on Sky News if you want to watch it. Six channel. men were hit. Three in the leg, one in the groin, one in the chest and one in the head. They are from Afghanistan, Pakistan and Iran. They were rushed back from the fence to Turkish ambulances and away to hospital, where we arrived a few hours later to this. See, mom, that's hurt there. She's the wife Losing of a man called Gulzar. He was the one hit in the chest. She's just identified his body in the morgue. All we know of their story is that they have travelled from Pakistan, heading for Europe, drawn to the border at the weekend when Turkey said it was open. <coughs> Now he's dead, and Greece and Turkey are blaming each other for the shooting. As we were invited into the hospital by officials from the Turkish government, they released a statement saying it was the Greek police who fired on the migrants. The Turkish authorities have brought us to the hospital now to see the injured. They're very, very keen that we do. We were shown a picture of a bullet they said had been removed from one of the men. In the ward, with officials present, they explained what had happened. We threw stones at them as they didn't open the border. Then they fired tear gas. Because the tear gas wasn't effective, they got out rifles and shot us with them. Outside, we met a man who'd been with Gulzar when he was shot. 
ਫਿਰ ਕੀ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਬਾਈ ਤੁਰਕੀ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਰਕੀ ਵਾਲੀ ਤਰਫ ਕੀ ਉਸਾਂ ਦਾ ਤੁਰਕੀ ਸਾਈਡ ਹਾਂ ਐਂਡ 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 ਦੀ ਦੀ ਕੇਮ ਫਰਮ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਸਾਈਡ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਜੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਤੋਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਹਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਬੈਠੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸ਼ੂਟਿੰਗ ਉਸ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਸਾਈਡ ਤੇ ਆਈ ਥੀ ਜੀ ਬਾਈ ਯੈਸ ਸੋ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਬੈਕ ਇਨ ਦ ਟਰਕੀ ਸਾਈਡ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸ਼ੂਟਿੰਗ ਕੇਮ ਫਰਮ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਸਾਈਡ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ vigilantes on the greek side then or the greek border guards the greek government is crying fake news i know that the turkish side constructs and disseminates fake news against our country yet one more fake news was spread today about alleged injured in greek fire i categorically deny it what now though for her mark stone sky news on the greece turkey border what kind of world are we living in you know i mean i talk about a lot about war and fighting some people don't talk about a lot about war and fighting some people don't like it some people don't believe in fighting if they're atheists or other things but uh it'd be nice to just have a nicer and peaceful world but uh, it's not the case half the time but anyway we're all different you know um like i say this fighting in Greece and Turkey will probably keep happening over and over again a lot of lives will be destroyed and lost it's kind of a shame and it's sad really but uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video give it a like give it a comment share it with your friends and I shall catch you in the next one thank you for joining me guys peace